three words I think that describe our offense right now are, um, you know, we're a work in progress. Like every day we're working and taking care of business. It's not always perfect, but the guys haven't had that, like, you know, one drop day. We're not going down on like last year. We just chopping and rising and getting better each and every day. You don't want to stay the same and you don't want to have a good practice and then go down and have two bad practices. We're explosive right now. I think an area we've really grown is the capacity to create and have big plays, both with our feet and then our arms and hands too, throwing and catching it. You know, we've been able to, to, to push the ball down the field a little bit, you know, take some chunk plays, you know, and really kind of, you know, spread the offense out, be in different personnel and stuff like that. So, you know, explosives another one. We got multiple dudes that can sling the rock, but even better, we've got tens of dudes that can get downfield and catch that thing. And so you're going to see a really more explosive version of this offense last year. It's going to be a similarly ran offense, but way more explosive. The vibes are unbelievably high right now on the offense. It's a really good feeling where we're at right now in camp being 10 days in. Um, and just knowing that we truly are just climbing like this on the offensive side of the ball. Being prideful is another one. I think we're super, you know, invested in this place right now and take a lot of pride in turning around this place, you know, not just offensively, but as a team. So, um, you know, the way we act towards each other, the way we approach meetings, the way we look at this opportunity in 2023 is we're just taking a lot of pride in what we're doing. So, you know, again, we're, we're a work in progress. We have some explosive factors now. You know, we're just really prideful in our approach and, and how we, you know, look at this university in this season right now. The light bulb is starting to flash a little bit in the offense. I mean, we, 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 we're coming very electric. Our passing game's really evolved and grown. Uh, the first credit goes to our players. The time they've invested this summer, the attention to detail in everything from drill work, understanding of concepts, and then execution of concepts. The development of our players that have been here and have remained has been exceptional. And then we've added some new pieces um, and, you know, at all, at every position that contribute to the pass game between pass protection, route runners, throwers, all that kind of stuff. Really excited about uh, how we've grown and our ability to throw football down the field. You know, just talking about Cole Garcia here, you know, last year at this time, he's learning the offense, battling for a starting spot. You know, obviously went about his business the right way and, and earned that starting spot. But within that earning of the spot, you know, earned the right to potentially have a leadership role. And you saw that kind of grow in the spring. Cole's a great leader. Cole's a great, a great guy. Like when he first said, from the moment he got here, like he was a, he was a vocal guy. But you can hear him and you can see him work. Like the things he talk about, he, he backs it up with how he work in his day to day. I think it's a great story for a lot of people to understand. You don't just get to come in and demand respect and get owed anything you got to work for it and he's done a great job off the field on the field working for it and give himself an opportunity to lead you know he speaks clearly he has good thoughts he's got good awareness playing good football you know so he's just he's been really good to have around and he's another one that really helped those guys coming in gel because he was doing it a year ago so it, it, it's been great i've seen the offensive line like really really grow uh, I don't want to keep mentioning when I first got here, but from when I first got here to right now, like it's a significant like difference. I said it to Jay the other day, and I think Cole's talked about it. We just gelled really well, um, and I think anytime, whether you're bringing in freshmen or transfers or anything like that, I mean, gelling in our room is as important as any with five of us on the field. So that to me, I think I'm not surprised, but it's it's been really nice. I'm really seeing it every day. Like I'm seeing it from from running behind these guys. Like this, this the, I'm feeling more confident, and I can see how more confident that they are. Like up front, I can see how they are a unit. Like even when they go eat lunch, you guys are with each other all the time. Like they have a great a great relationship with each other, and like you can really see it paying off on the field. I think the biggest thing that's happened in our room um, from last December to this August has been culturally. Um, and we have really come together as an extremely close-knit group. Um, and I think that's one of the most pivotal things to an offensive line success is that we have to get five men working together on the same page. And um, the way this group has come together, the character that's been showed by some of the guys in our room early in fall camp, um, the offense is going to go as we go. And so far, it looks like we're going to go really well. Karon Adams is a guy that I could talk about for an hour. You know, he, he has a uh what some would say a non-traditional story a transfer here 2021 um i broke my ankle my left ankle 
uh, playing against Toledo. Uh, that was my first time like I ever had experienced like a broken bone or like an injury that kind of put me out for like a significant like amount of time. Before he got hurt in 2021, like he was probably our best running back. Once I did that, it kind of put me like in a darker place. Like I never like, like I said, I never like broke my ankle or anything before. So kind of dealing with that is kind of, it was tough at first. In 2022, you know, he didn't get to really participate in the spring, was battling, you know, recovering from an injury, went through some nicks in, in the fall of 2022. But just kept working, kept working, and trying to get it stronger and stronger uh, until kind of like rolling into where we are right now. Um, it's like, it's fully back, it's strong. I'm feeling like more elusive, more like back myself. Just finally 100% healthy, have been so impressed by not just his play, but his quiet confidence and leadership. But you know, when he speaks, our guys listen. k has got a great voice to him, but really what k -Ron does amazing is lead by example. His attitude, his energy, every single practice has been the same. You know, and he's been running the ball well, great in blitz pickup, and the energy's been infectious. And he's just, I'm, I'm happy for him, man. Like, I, I am excited for him to bounce back. Hang on, go to war with us. And that's the type of person I want in my backfield. George is, uh, it's crazy to say this, this will be George's and George and I's fifth season together. And uh, I've known George a long time between Michigan and now being here. I'm just so proud of George, um, how much he's grown and matured. And he's always been a vocal guy, but you know, with experience comes, you know, you learn valuable lessons. I would say God has a lot of things planned for me right now. And right now he has me moving in the right direction. I don't want to ever get too big headed because it is practice and this, and these are not the people I'm, I'm going to be facing on Saturdays. The best compliment I could ever give somebody, in my opinion, as a player, is really twofold. They play really hard and you can count on them. Uh, there's not many that play harder than George. There's not many we count on more than George. My hard work on the offseason has paid off. My maturity on the offseason has paid off. I wasn't, I started to stay more time in the weight room and training room and uh, keep my body uh, up to par rather than just walking out right after practice and that that was the the less mature of me back in the days and like I don't want to go back to that I want to be early in the training room hour before practice start hour before meeting starts working on my body to make sure I'm 100% when I go out on those fields I love George man five years would be crazy when his time's done here I, I will have coached him for six years and uh, man that's amazing uh, that you know we've been together this long but far and above that you know I'm so proud of him for what he's done and what he continues to do. And I know at the end of the day, God got something special planned for me. I gotta just keep chopping and believing in what he's doing. I have faith as believing in stuff you can't see and I got a strong heart of that. In all things, man, when that season ended last year, we went right back to work and recruiting, not just bringing in players, but moving our roster around. And, you know, we're still a work in progress, like I said, but, you know, you're starting to see some fruits of your labor pay off. The biggest difference people are gonna see, I feel, is they're going to see a pissed off team of, of people being tired of being counted out, people being tired of, of being like a walking stone or a laughing stock. Like that, I feel like that that's over with. The only thing you can expect different out of UMass this year is winning. What people are going to see from now on is a, is a UMass that's coming and we're going to strap on. When we step on the field, we're going to be about business. Everything we're doing, we're coming about business. And that's going to shock the college football landscape being where we came from last season. Everything has changed. It's over with. We come up for everything right now. And so if you're a fan, if you're somebody who's a hater, we love you. But either way, you're going to tune in. You're going to watch UMass football win some games this year.